As the pressure on our cities and our urban environment increases, we simply cannot keep building in the way we have done before. We need to find innovative solutions, not just with materials, but construction techniques to create innovative, comfortable solutions for our communities and our customers. While we are trying to solve for the questions that we have in our region, it's important to tap into it with a global reach. Expanding our ability by cooperating with MIT and using their extensive knowledge, extensive research, cutting edge technology, talent, etc. That all helps us to redefine what we as a developer want to do. The main principles are to create an economical and ecological and um, I would say social uh, uh, environment and you can do that by either creating say a resource efficient project so where the buildings and the infrastructure are designed to optimize energy and water you can do it by creating biodiversity environment and green spaces to elevate the quality of life for residents I think the industry is fairly convention bound one of the best things about an institution like MIT is that we're always thinking at the cutting edge. What students can do is that they can actually use this opportunity working with a company like Majib al Futain to test out ideas and actually think outside the box that is not the kind of opportunity that usually is available for the companies themselves. While we are very privileged to live in sometimes of a, a white ivory tower here in a very unique sphere that is MIT where we get to create absolutely incredible concepts and ideas. When you have to bring it to the real world, you have to take so much more on board, be it from a level of engineering, be it from a level of utilization, and more importantly, will people actually want to see and be part of any of these different designs? One of the defining things about MIT, we don't assemble teams of designers when confronted with design questions. And that allows us to come up with some really innovative solutions which span disciplines. And I think we saw that in the proposals that were made today, from using sound to create space, water to define activity, the wind to animate the public realm. These are all design proposals that are rooted in more than just the designer's aesthetic. It's competitions like this that allow our students to engage with companies, to really understand how the theory comes into practice, especially now in an environment where these tremendous technological breakthroughs are starting to change our industry fundamentally in the things that we build and where we build them and how we build them. Having direct uh, collaboration with MIT is a great opportunity to bridge the gap between developers and the researchers in order to enhance or to expedite implementing these new ideas within our uh, communities. So I think what inspired our project was the desire to rethink outdoor spaces in climatically challenged areas and the opportunity to create comfortable outdoor spaces that promotes an active and outdoor lifestyle. For sustainability, which I know is a bit of a buzzword, that was really the core of my work of how can you start to use kind of passive systems instead of mechanical systems. It was amazing actually thinking of a different place that we had not used to or we're not familiar with. We have to deal with a lot of variables, a different climate, a different way of living, a different sort of approach also. But this is the beauty of sustainability is that we work so closely with the environment to try and design in a way that is working with it and not against it. We cannot look at a climate, you know, deem it unusable from an outdoor space perspective, meaning that, you know, it is a challenge, of course, to try to unlock the outdoor space usage in a lot of climates that, for instance, like Dubai are very hot, but it's not impossible. And it's a climate that actually pushes us to challenge, you know, what the design status quo is for outdoor space usage. And I find that very exciting. You know, making sure that we also have these opportunities outdoors, I think is, is just really important from a quality of life perspective. We're touching on the real think tanks within the industry, which are the educational institutions where these innovations are coming into fruition. And what we're looking for is these green shoots of solutions, which we can then develop as developers into something that impacts the real world and really changes the way we build future communities. I think the collaboration between industry and academia allows the industry to benefit from creative thinking that happens in an academic environment. 
and to be able then to translate that into the practical use on a day-to-day -day basis out in the industry, I think that's where the real benefit is of these kinds of collaborations between a company like Majid al Futaim and a place like MIT. These kinds of interactions are really critical to the development of students and giving them effective tools to operate in the world after they leave MIT. At the same time, it strengthens our academic offerings by giving the students real-world experience and hearing the feedback. And so they tend to come up with more innovative solutions and ways to address problems.